Welcome again, friends. After installing IIS web server on our Windows server, let's open our IIS web server. Okay, IIS manager. So if you remember, we have changed the name of our system or uh, name of our host. So here that appears the name okay if you change that host name or system name after installing iis then your this name will not be changed okay this will be previous name whatever uh, the system has at the time of installing iis web server okay so that's why we have uh, first changed the system name and after that installed the iis web server okay so by default IS web server has one default website in IS web server. We can access that locally also by right clicking on default website, go to manage website and click on browse. Okay, this is one way. And another way is here, browse webs, browse at colon HTTP. Okay, so let's click on browse. So by this way, we are accessing this default website from local network, okay? I mean, from local system. Local system means the website or whatever is on the same system that we are browsing from that same system. Okay. So start without data, continue without this data, confirm and start browsing. Okay. So this is the default web page of that default website. So we will now add another website in IIS web server. Okay. Before directly going to sites, let me share you when we when you click on the start page, it will show you some details about this IIS service or uh, this IIS application. So it is the IIS 10. So IS 10 is on because we are using Windows 2022 server. That's why we are getting the IIS service 10 here. Okay. Also, if you have any uh, connections, so here it will show. Okay, and these are some help helpful documents or links that you can use for your references. Okay. And after that, if you click on server 2L the name, server name itself. It will show you some common, uh, what we can say, the options, IS options that we can use for this server, okay? Suppose you want to change some logging setting, you want to set some default documents. Suppose you are hosting only static websites on this server, you will set the default document like index.html, at first, okay, let me take this Move up. Again, move up, again, okay. So if you want to add any other extension here, you can add from this option. Actions add and add the page name like index or default dot extension. Okay, as of now, we are not adding anything. After that, if you want, you can also check if you if we can change anything in logging. Okay, if you want logs to be stored at any specific location, then you can browse and create any new folder if you want, and if that logs to be saved at new location afterwards. Okay, and. If you want to disable logging, you can do that from here, but we want logs. What will be the maximum file size for the log file that we can mention here? Or schedule is the day, schedule as daily. So daily log file will be generated and stored on our server. Okay. Again, coming to this home on server, server home. You can also add some MIME types. 
server certificates. We will see server certificates after adding this website. Again, if you want some authentications, that will be done from here. But as of now, we don't have anything to discuss on this much. Okay. If you want to set some default error pages, you can set them from here. Okay. So, so after checking some of these options, we will come to application pools. Okay. Here we will see application pool for every website. Okay. If you want to add application pool before adding your website, you can add that from here. Okay. Add application pool, name of your website or the application. You can also set the different name of for your application pool other than your website name. Like if you have website am channel dot in then you can also name here am channel application pool without extension or with extension okay whatever or however you want and you can we can we will keep the dot net CLR version as the default one and manage pipeline mode should be integrated okay and make sure this application this check check checkbox will be selected so in by that way you will be adding application pool okay i'll cancel it right now so you you will have similar options from two places okay if you can click on application pools also you can view click on view application pools also it will take you to the same place okay if you want to install php myadmin or some other tools for your IIS server integration, you can do that from web platform installer. Okay. So let's add one more website in IIS server. Okay. So click on sites, right click, add website, or by selecting sites, you will see here, here is also an option add website. Okay, you can do from anywhere. Select add website. And here your website name will become like it will become like anyway. Okay. Like uh dot in. Okay. Suppose this is your website name you want to add. So site name should be like this. Also, you can add without www, okay? But it looks much better. And you can see application will be taken same as the site name. If you have different site and different application pool you have created for adding site in add website option, then you can select that from this option, okay? And from drop down, you will get your application pool here, okay? So, so this is suppose our website and but i have my uh, website running uh, publicly am channel .in, so we can't add this here so we will, we will do one thing we will create one subdomain there is no any different between difference between subdomain and domain okay means working is similar just your cause of creating that subdomain may be different okay like uh, i'm doing this for informational purpose so I will add one subdomain here, like suppose take this youtube.emchannel.in. This is my subdomain. Okay. So physical path, physical path where we want to store our files for this website. Okay. We can select that from here. We will go to our default folder and there we will create in inetpub we will create new folder and i will name it as youtube.amchannel.in okay select that click on ok so it will take your physical path here as of now we will keep http as it is ip address should be unassigned and portal will remain as at Okay, and we will add host name as 
youtube.amchannel.in okay make sure you are typing the correct alphabets if any alphabet is missing or your host name is incorrect then we are not able to browse our website and make sure this checkbox of start website immediately is selected it's checked okay so let's click on okay now we have our website added in is server okay if you want to change anything or any settings you have options here bindings basic settings add-on settings hsts option also if you want to restart your website you can click on this restart button if you want to stop this website click on stop website and then click on start website whenever you want to start okay so let's try to browse this website. So click here, browse. We don't have any index page skip at, uh, at the code of this website. So it will not show. So let's create one index page. So go to our folder create one new file okay this file name should be index dot html and we we want to change the file name extension as dot html okay so remote dot txt so open with the uh, I don't have editor in this file, so we will do one thing. New text document. Okay. Index.txt. Open it. So this is just adding something and we will remove this. So now we will see by browsing this website again. Let, let me restart this website, okay? Restart. Now I will browse it again. I can try one more way. So it is not working. We will check why it is not able to pause. So it is not working as expected. So because we have not added the entry of this website and IP address to our host file. Okay. So this host file is nothing but uh, it is a local DNS. We can say it as local DNS system. Okay. Uh, if you want. The path of this host file is in C drive, Windows, System32. Now drivers, etc. And here is host file. Okay. Make sure you are opening this as uh, administrator because you are going to edit this file. And to edit this file, you need administrator permissions. Okay. For this, session i have already logged in as administrator so and i can directly edit this file i'll edit it from notepad we will add entry here so this is the format take any anyone from this or you can directly add the entry here okay at, at the last line 
what we have to add. Okay, make sure you are uh, remembering this name, youtube.amjana.in. What we want to add is private IP. Okay, so the private IP is 172.31.91. Dot nine one dot one four eight. You can give tab as well as space and mention the name of your website. Am YouTube dot am channel dot in. Okay, and I'll save it again. I'll try to browse it. Okay, still it is not working. Okay, so. I will start and stop this website from IS server. Stop and start it again. Okay. And now I'll try to browse it. Okay. Yes. For now, we have just kept one index page at the location. That's why it is showing only the hello friends, welcome to a app channel dot in. Okay. If you remember. We have created one folder in inetpub with the name of our website. And in here, I have just created this index.html page from Note Notepad. And this way, uh, we can able to browse it, browse the website from local server. Now, to browse this website from remote server or from anywhere in the world, we need to do some things. We need to do, we need to add one subdomain in our uh, domain control panel and we need to add a record a DNA, dns record for uh browsing this website from worldwide okay i'll show that to you i have another uh, account of cpanel from where we are going to add the a record what we can say also as a dns record and from same cpanel we are going to add subdomain so I'll take you there.